is that? So, I just finished up watching DLC. Super Mario Country Force first movie, Maggie's Destiny. And I thought it's really sad. Now, before you go straight out watch this movie, if you're like a new reviewer like anyone else, we do recommend watching the anime. We do recommend watching What If Mario Was in Splatoon 1 and 2. Ooh. Ooh, to get some of the characters established. Okay. The Waluigi are the Wrecking Ball are in the anime are because, well, I do feel like that also goes to a story. What's up with Maggie and the Great Festival? Yep, that's pretty much what you're supposed to do. These are in canonical order, by the way. Please watch them when I. And all of them need to be watched in canonical order. Maybe I'm just a little too much in expectations. Maybe I was expecting Maggie to straight up turn back to normal. Normal and, well, Delcy coming out to life, which did not happen in this movie. Yeah, I'm just going to spoil a little bit because, you know, I'm, I'm just being one of those. Just... So, you know what, let's just explain. So, the story starts, so, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna explain this more. So the movie starts with, well, kind of something I'm questioning a little bit was the opening of it, where they said, it's been a year. Um, it's been a year, unless I'm calculating wrongly, then... You mean year, but I mean like two years or so, two to three years or something, I believe. Mainly because her backstory was exposed. And her she appeared in season seven. This is currently season ten. So I'm gonna say over the course, and they would have like maybe some New Year's parties and everything else over the course of maybe three to four, three, one, two, or three year. So I would say some. So I would say over the course of So, yeah, um, yeah, this flashback was, doesn't make that much sense when it's, like, taking place over the course of a year, shouldn't it be, like, two to three years? So, I was finding her backstory, everything else, her death, and, um, yeah, Delcy's death, yeah, okay. So, anyways, anyways, I question the fact, why didn't they just, I'm still questioning the fact, why didn't she just, Question the fact why didn't Egad, Arian, and Axel, who are also appearing in this movie, actually bring back Delcy? Also, I do get this movie. So, while this movie is focused. While the movie focuses mostly on. on what Mario, Luigi, G, Itari, and Delcy. I mean, I'm sorry, and Maggie. It, I question the fact that I think that 
No, well, I would normally complain about the movie have. No, normally I would have complained about oh some of the cast members like Sumar Kachifor himself, Ba Sugoku, and Gukin, and possibly Alexo being morally reduced to more secondary characters in this movie. I can go past that. The reason I'm I can go past that was because mainly this movie was focusing on mainly Maggie and she has some of the crew back in this. But there's at least a good reason as to why they're not going to be playing that much of a role in this movie. At least they have a good reason they don't play much role of this movie. Okay, at least there's a good reason. Isn't unlike like well you know Steven Universe the movie where I get here there's at least a reason you don't there only can be four members of a team normally in Splatoon and. I feel like at least they have, at least there's a good reason, and I at least know the reason, though. Oh well, at least they're normally doing well in comedy videos, and luckily this isn't so. But oh well, I would like to see more. Okay, we'll talk about that later. So, after a montage, which Tari won that one. So, after being with Inventions, Maggie wasn't really great at it. So, they went to our party. Where they were playing Knockout Splatoon, singing Inkling song, Bob and Gukin sing Inkling songs, so Goku and Mushroom were playing heavy metal, and then we see a Super Mario Glitching 4 making a meta joke about this movie. We. No joke, that literally just happened. So yeah, nice meta joke. So then Axel comes out, but then she goes, just also reminding herself of her death. Like, no, while I'm still sad and and everything else, and while there will be, there's still no good explanation why you could just stay dead. And other than motives and everything, yeah, despite the fact you can just resurrect someone from the dead. Unless there's a good reason you could just straight up kill off a permanently kill off a character. Maybe there's at least a good reason why Delsey can just straight up come back to life. I tried emailing them, but so far they never really replied to my emails. I sent them about the how this whole arc about this whole arc. Unless there's a good reason they couldn't just uh, just tell me there's a good reason you couldn't just straight up come back. To I this was maybe I don't get how how could they maybe make her stay dead unless there's a good reason you couldn't just bring back her to life. Like, is there a good reason you couldn't just bring her back to life? If I I even wrote an email about this entire arc itself and I'm still questioning um, I'm still questioning, why couldn't she even, even just straight up come back to life, like, okay, maybe I'm just a little too more off-putted, like, maybe I just, there's a good reason why she can just straight up come back to life, give her one out or anything, maybe they just want to go with a heartwarming story, but there are other reasons why, why then again there are reasons why it just feels a little off putting they can just straight up kill off. Unless there's at least maybe one or two good reasons they couldn't just straight up come back to life. Like, you know, they they have one ups and everything else and there are other re other things they can just bring back someone back to life. 
Maybe not. Well, I know this is going to be her final, Delcy's final appearance, but I don't get why I couldn't just bring her back to life by just throwing up a one-off mushroom or something. Anyway, stop my ramblings about bringing back dead people. Well, I just really don't get the fact that I could just straight up bring her back to life. Like, <sighs> sorry, I, I'm trying to get over it. Oh yeah. After dealing with Damien, I think we're gonna do it again. So I decided to do because it's helping Dan. Yeah, well, we went back to the end of after the end of this movie, but. Clearly, to go back and want to encourage Luigi as a character development as a go up against our arcs. We see Delcy suddenly just alive, turns out to be a hallucination. I just expect a, like, yeah, you know what? Yeah. So, this is the last Bad Fest, and the rest of my build, so I don't need to build the biggest Bad Fest ever. No fighting this time because we need to go do something else. Because this is more a test of the agility and everything. We got the series of the montages of the and I do really like these action scenes and whatnot. The animation, while still going with the typical G Mon style animation, it's still pretty good. And showing the benefits of being normal, not of being normal human. We got to the final scene of them trying to get through this entire thing, and wow, these adventures are really well. And yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the antagonist, the Killer Inks. Yeah, they are going to be an antagonist for this movie. Yeah, no Sumar Gucci Tree or something. I was expecting someone like Sumar Gucci Tree has something to do with it, but he's dealing with four, so not really. Yeah, this is... Anyways, ended up helping that Maggie yeah, after the final round, everything else helping. And... Well, round one, they made it to, the fi to at least the finals. And... No... Then Mega does it gets a monster only to turn out the Dingle I think Obelisk really is humans. Wins and yeah. Yeah. They really hate humans for and yeah. And like I yeah will never be brought up again in this movie though. I have a future short and I'm betting a future episode, like maybe a week or so from now, they're going to probably explain this, maybe just to deal with it, probably to deal with the racism thing in this. Probably to deal with the obvious. Yes, yeah, race.
No, he likes Oreo and Karen will be just jumped up and distracted him and I said, Well, I just kinda can't remember the name of this movie. So then I see her inkling self, which I was bet being gonna j see her then again and then stay there again. No, this is the point of the movie I was betting that she would just get turned into an octo in inkling again back to an inkling again, but turns out it was just a dream. It was just a dream sequence, obviously. We go back to a normal one, she does her old day here and not use it. So then we get to the last few teams, just been the and since the killings won the race of the first place, meaning they can just get become in the finals. So they were fighting ink. So our goal is to well fight ink fight weird squids. Yeah, the tower defense by buying fighting squirrels. And straight up. We get to a montage, and I admit, this was great action and comedy at the same time. Yeah, as well as the previous one for the endurance test. And turns out the Ink Brigade won. Causing Maggie to be sad, everything else. And while well, we get to an emotional scene with Axel, and I question, still question the fact why didn't he just turn her back to an Ink? 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 Well, okay, maybe there's a good reason for maybe Axel. Oh, maybe the. She doesn't have high quality ink like others. I don't get why didn't she just grab some ink from like maybe maybe some test subjects, but asking some people for politely, but oh well. So after spelling Mar earlier Mario said something fishy but found a button. Turns out they were cheating and illegally catching these people. Yeah, the Ingabre was cheating and illegal kidnap kidnapping. Yeah, good job. Oh, So, yeah, I think we go back to a quick flashback to the dream character, back to the dream real quickly. And then Maggie wants her to basically become the ink boy. Yeah. Being skate boy, and yeah, and yeah, that's what they want. Anyways, then Kelly Marie just went. Yeah, by the way, you're back. Did you, we found out with the weird cheating. So yeah, you're back, and here's the higher wire. Which we get back to the dream sequence. So they. So yeah, they do that for. That basically. Do A is movie hand. Read and. I was expecting at this point that she would just turn back to an inkling, but oh well, maybe I'm just old. For some reason, turn to Spock, so I don't get this anymore. And then we see Delcy, who for some reason is censored her. I don't get why they really need to censor her face in this movie, like, you know, you could just straight up show her face. And this is a, this is gonna be mostly until the end of the film, but I don't get why they really need to censor her face, by the way. Like, you know, you could just straight up show it. It's not that hard. Oh well, back to the review. Um, so we get to the classic tour for it, and this has got to be the best action in everything. So we get to the law of action, sees erosion, and, well, when her old teammates were gone, she kind of used her skateboard and just scroll down, move up, shh, use some ink blocks to finish them off, except for the leader. We get to see Sir as Delcy. I Anyways These two all of them in a loop so all of them lost and so they won. So the squid, Splat Squad won. The ink killers are kind of just angry about it, and well, they won. They won the entire thing. So after celebration, party, and everything, though after all this, shouldn't everyone be successful? No, I do feel like after this scene, I feel like they would earn a lot of money on that day, mainly because. Uh, I would think they will do potentially do more splat passes by the way, mainly because 
plus after that scene and every and all the participants were coming on that day, I feel like they were making tons of money by the way after this episode. After this movie ended, where I still question why you get as in a okay, Axel, again, just turn her back to Clay Andrew for free Meg Delsey on Monsters like. Like, it's kind of possible in this universe, right? Like, maybe I'm just a little more exact. Okay, you really need this to overcome this already. So, after a really. So, yeah, and um, everything was happy though. So, I could. G4, SMG4 was like, you, now that you, you won, this is probably, it, it's for the Spyfrost related adventure. Unless, which, yeah, maybe I'm going, then Bob comes in and, yeah, you get the point. Though, I do feel like it may be tying to that potential other certain arc, but, we don't know at the moment, though. I'm going to say that's just basically the main first to have a joke or something on around that episode. Like, maybe I'm just, unless there's a good reason you could just simply bring back someone like that to life and then. This was so after everything and the, emo the emotional scene and everything else, and we see Delcy revealing her face for why you don't get why they need to have the sensor face. They hug it out. They I expect her to just straight up like she turns out she was alive all the whole time and she's got spirit powers, but no, she just disappeared. Like I don't get the scene at all. So he really goes away. Everyone, it's me. I also excuse my brother. So yeah, then we get to some fun little ending, and yeah. Okay, look. Okay, sorry, this is pretty. <sighs> Overall, I thought this movie was pretty great. No, um, no, um, um, no, it's, yeah, me, So, yeah, yeah, and then all this is got to be the same thing and everything. Oh, and also, by the way, there's also going to be merch inspired by by this movie, by the way, including Delcy Jacket, who, she, who doesn't do for quick to mention that this is going to be our final appearance. And, and yeah.
Like, it's kind of worrying that they might go damage the... Uh, now, like... So, yeah. By the way, this much weather will be in 10... We'll be here for like 10 days, so Paragraph USA will be off for 10 days, so Paragraph can enjoy it again. And yeah, as much as I want to go make this joke, well, I guess now I know why SCG4 really needs to turn her into human. Because money! Okay, no, seriousness. This was a rather emotional film and everything. In all seriousness, this is a rather emotional film and everything. And it's overall pretty. It's overall great, actually. I thought it was a great movie. Man, nah, sorry for that snarky comment earlier. Um, I'm just. Maybe I just feel personally. Maybe I just feel like there's a good reason they couldn't just bring. Mm. That and overall, it's still. I thought this movie was pretty great. It's just maybe I'm just questioning a little bit of my insanity of it. So yeah. A nice send off to Desi and just be on his butt kindness. And send off to um, this Black Hat Stark. And maybe there's gonna be a good reason they can just bring her back to life, but um, because there's a lot of things they can just bring people back to life, but maybe not. Maybe there's a. Maybe there's just a, but there's good reasons. So is that, yeah. That's pretty much this review. Anywho. So, yeah. So, maybe one, um, yeah. And also, one more thing before I go, and since I lost the bet, I'm reviewing four sports anime reviews. I'm going to review at least four anime of a sports anime. <sighs> yeah, so sports anime coming soon, but I don't know what sports anime should I watch first to do a review. So yeah, I'm gonna review a sports anime for the review. Maybe I'll watch maybe one to four episodes, or at least watch some episodes just to get over my di just to face defeat. I'm trying to face defeat. It's so hard. I'm trying to face defeat. You know. So I'm gonna do an a sports anime review, and I will have to watch at least four episodes of it. At least four episodes. And there was a lot, but I'm not gonna. No, you know, just to be sick, just to be something, I'm gonna be picking these ones. The reason is because I don't wanna do something like Yuri on Ice because I'm not really into gays and lesbian, I'm not really into the LGBT community, so. And I feel like I wanted to go with something that I would. do. Anime of the first four episodes in anime, and I'm gonna get the first one. And maybe I'll get to that review. I'm not gonna review maybe the first four episodes because I just personally feel like I don't want to cover much onto maybe at least one or four episodes at least. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. To um,
You know what? Wait, excuse me. I need to get some rest and try to get up. We're thinking about oh, turning it back to an eight of make it turn back to an inkling or oh, doesn't. I mean, does he still? I mean, there's no, there's no inkling. Does he?